Hello and welcome to this short service of blessing of palm crosses for Hentland, Llanlevid and Bulchheim. We've come to Palm Sunday. It's a most precious day of the year because it begins the Paschal mystery of Jesus and leads to the most precious day of the year. Easter Day itself, when we celebrate the risen glory of Jesus Christ. We have some really good news to announce. When it does come to Easter Day next week, we're going to be able to celebrate Holy Communion together. So we're opening up each church in the Denby Mission area throughout the whole month of April. There'll be at least one service in every church and in, a, in our area here in Hentland and Bulchai we're, we're going to start off with Easter morning itself and open up St. Nevid and St. Mary for a 9.30 Holy Communion service and then we're going to open up on the 18th in St. Sabbath's. This is really really welcome news indeed um, although we've been trying to muster through through the screen I'm sure you'll agree it's not the same as being there together and worshipping God um, in person presence. So many things are changing for the better. And I'm sure you'll agree with me, this really is one of them. So we're going to <clears throat> journey from today and um, Palm Sunday to Easter Day. And as, as well as being at the Paschal Mystery of Jesus, each disciple is invited to, to journey along those significant stages of Jesus' journey from this um, Palm Sunday, when it's representing Jesus going down the Mount of Olives into Jerusalem and being celebrated as the Messiah, the King, obviously irritating both the Roman Empire from uh, having what seems like revolutionary um, parties in the streets and of course the forces, the um, religious um, forces are also extremely um, agitated by Jesus and ask him to stop um, as he's riding in on his, his cult, um, his pre-planned cult, he's riding in and he says I can't, I, I, I can't ask him to stop, even though he asked the children, to the people to stop, you're going to hear the stones screaming with joy. And so, <clears throat> this is because it is indeed a celebration. And we are invited to join in with this. And it's a celebration that the diocese have put on some wonderful material for us as well. The link is with this video for us. And I invite everyone to join me too in the 11 o'clock services, the diocese are providing um, so the link that's there will take you into the same page each time and at 11 o'clock each day there's something that's going to take us on that journey and there's some extra things by the cathedral too around those um, couple of days leading into easter itself so do have a look at that link and do um clock on for the service at 11 o'clock each day um, as it really is a precious a precious opportunity for us well, we've had the restriction of um, having to try and do communion through the screen. We've had this variety, as we saw a couple of weeks ago, of other services where we belong in the wider sense to, um, of course, the whole Anglican communion around the world, but more locally, the diocese. And so let's lean into that to, to our brothers and sisters and um, join them in this material each day at 11 o'clock. So I'm going to bless the palms now. <clears throat> oh, and of course, I forgot to mention the, the, the celebrations on Easter, as well as being the 9.30 communion service, which will be great for everyone can come to, um, from Hentland to Neville Bulchai to um, St. Mary and St. Neville and St. Mary. As many people, fantastic. And of course, you will have seen that we've got the Easter trail going on as well. For the children, there's more than 38 children registered already. There's people putting things up in windows to help us to celebrate Easter as well. And that's been a theme that we've seen in Hentland where people have 
done these things. We had a great nativity response with over 100 houses putting things in windows. Um, so that, that's something to watch out for too. And there's plenty of information on the social network sites and on our own site indeed about how to um, join along with this. And each child that does participate is going to receive an egg, a gift from us, a sign of new life. So we come to the blessing of the palm crosses. Everyone that does have a palm cross, I've been going round. You may well have seen me and trying to ensure everyone's got one of these. Um, I'm sorry if I didn't get to you um, for, for some reason. I'm sure I've covered as many people as, 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 um, as certainly as was possible um, this last week. So if you do have a palm cross, great. If you have one from a previous year, um, if you didn't receive one, then um, do press pause and go and get yours now. And we're going to bless these palm crosses um, for us as we journey through the diocesan material this, this week and find afresh what it means to follow Jesus. Dear Lord God, let these palm crosses be for us signs of his victory and grant that we who bear them in his name may ever hail him as our King and follow him in a way that leads to eternal life, who lives and reigns as King in glory forever and ever with you and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen, indeed. Do have a precious, precious week. Do follow the material. Do come along next Sunday. And I really look forward to seeing you then.